In this video I'm going to show you how to prepare your RAM modules for a water cooling block. In this example I'm going to use EK's Monarch X4 CSQ block. I believe that Bitspower also do a kit and you'll need to buy their adapter kit which will take any standard DDR3 stick of RAM and allow it to be fitted to their blocks which are usually set aside just for uh, dominator sticks of RAM. Uh, so I believe it was £40 for the adapter kit which is for four sticks so it's not too bad a price and I can't remember how much the best power one is I think it's a little bit cheaper. So in this example I'm using Corsair Vengeance low profile RAM which uses some sticky thermal compound which you just need to heat up with a heat gun very gently and it just peels right off. Um, obviously you don't want to heat it too fast or for too long because you'll have the solder especially if you've got a high powered heat gun and you don't want to heat it too little otherwise you can actually pull one of the modules of RAM off of the PCB and then obviously flip it over and do the other side. Once you've removed all the thermal compound just by sort of scraping it off you'll probably want to use some isopropyl alcohol just to clean it up and remove any finger grease. Then obviously go turn it over and do the other side. You want to do this in a clean environment so that you're not getting any dirt or anything on your RAM, so a piece of paper works just fine for this. Uh, again, as I said before, go nice and slowly, don't uh, rush it because obviously this is expensive stuff you're working with here and obviously this is going to breach your warranty, so uh, obviously think about whether you want to do this before you go ahead and do it. If you buy Dominator RAM then water cooling that doesn't uh, breach your warranty, so you might want to consider that. And then you want to apply the thermal pads which come with the kit. So EK provides one long strip of thermal compound per uh, two sticks of RAM. And I found that that one sheet did enough for four sticks of RAM. So there is plenty in there if you muck up and it just needs to go on each chip. And then EK uses a split design. So it's two halves made of milled aluminium. You place one in, put the thermal compounds on the other side of the RAM. Just, you know, press it in, make sure it's in there, but you don't want to press too hard, you don't want to break it, and just place the other lot of thermal pads. And then it just uses three Allen bolts to hold the two pieces together. Uh, tighten them, but don't over tighten them, otherwise, you can risk cracking the PCB or just generally messing it up. Obviously, don't under tighten them because it needs some contact uh, to uh, move the heat away. And obviously, place it on your motherboard, place the water block on top and you're ready to go. So hope you found this video helpful, interesting and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks.